Hey, hey, hey guys, my name is Troy. Welcome back to my booktube channel. I hope you are all doing well. And today I'm going to be wrapping up all of my May books. So this is my May reading wrap up. And I read five books this month, which is not, you know, my average for books. But, but hear me out, hear me out. The books that I read were a lot longer than I read last month. I did read 11 books last month, but a lot of them were shorter. Like some of them were even 100 pages to 200 pages. A lot of the books that I read this month were like 700 pages, 800 pages. You know like that and so um, i did read less books but i did read an average amount of pages because i read 3500 pages so it's really really cool and yeah that's a good amount for me so i can't wait to share about all my books kind of just go quickly through them and i hope you guys enjoyed this video we're so close to 1000 subscribers make sure you subscribe i can't wait to celebrate and all that and yeah um, make sure to like this video if you're excited liking my videos is a great way to support me and make sure to comment down below with what you read this month and let's get into the first book okay so the first first book that I read in May was Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, The Ship of the Dead, which is the last and final book of the series, which wasn't my favorite, which I'll explain about in a second, but I mean, I still really enjoyed it. This series is one of my favorites, and I'm just so glad I got to read it in April and May. This book was kind of like the final attempt to stop the doomsday from coming, because from since the beginning of the series, Magnus Chase knows that there's this doomsday coming, and you know, it's coming up, and Magnus has to do all that he can to stop it, and stop the evil villain, you know, from basically causing all this chaos throughout the world and I'm not gonna say too much just in case you haven't read the other books but basically it's just this really adventure through the sea to stop this you know doomsday from coming and I did really like this book I did not like the start of it It was kind of slow and it was just more of like a ploy to me from Rick Riordan to have um, Percy Jackson be in the book I feel like that wasn't really needed and I feel like that was kind of his way to kind of market the book a little bit more because he probably knew that it wasn't like his best and so he wanted to include Percy Jackson or whatever and like you know make his series more inclusive of the other series and just like kind of market his series a little bit more and like say that oh Percy Jackson is in this so you must buy all these books and read them like I just didn't really like kind of like that because I feel like it wasn't just him trying to like have Magnus Chase be in the series I think it was more of like a marketing technique and I just didn't like I don't I didn't like the whole vibe and I just didn't really like Percy Jackson the Percy Jackson series at all so it was just kind of weird to have Magnus Chase and Percy Jackson be in the same series so yeah I just did not like that first part but as soon as we started the adventure you know kicks in immediately and they are through all these different worlds and all these different adventures and you know it's just another magical quest and so I really enjoyed it again the humor in these books is so so top-notch and I just found myself laughing at every single scene just like the settings like the sea it had like a really cool vibe and just like the tension that like they didn't really even know when Ragnarok or Doomsday was gonna happen and so like they were just kind of like hoping that they would get there in time because like they were trying to race to catch up to the bad guys and so like they're trying to do all these things and also at the same time try to get there as fast as they could so there's like this ultimate tension it's a really funny book and a really fun book as well and the series is just so so good and just to see it wrap up so nicely was really really amazing and also when i quickly mention that i really love about this series is that it's so diverse there's so many characters like even on the back it says black deaf trans muslim white homeless and formerly homeless readers will see characters like themselves cracking jokes and caring for one another with identities that are crucial to success so yeah there's just all kinds of characters and i really enjoyed it just seeing how everyone interacted and evolved and it was just a really good book and I really enjoyed it. So yeah, five stars to Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, The Ship of the Dead. But Percy Jackson, please don't feature in any other Rick Riordan books. Please don't. Thank you. All right, so the next kind of books that I read after this were the Harry Potter series. So I kind of split it up into chunks. So I read the first four Harry Potter books in April, and then I read the last three Harry Potter books in May. I just took a little break because like I feel like that's where they kind of transition like the first four are kind of like middle grade and the last three are like young adult if that makes any sense. I just think those three that they like they they're two different series almost. So yeah okay the next book that I read was Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix and again I'm not going to go into this too long because because I did a whole Harry Potter review on Monday so if you want to check that out I'll leave that up for you right there. So I did a full series Harry Potter review dived deep through every single book and I talked about each one for like three to five minutes and then I did my general thoughts. Check that video out if you want but I'm going to do a short kind of review and summary of what this book was about. Um, then this book Harry Potter goes to Hogwarts for his fifth time. He's having these strange dreams and a order is arising as Voldemort is arising. So like there's these two clashing powers that are starting to arise and there's just very much tension going on with like the Ministry of Magic painting him
using Harry as like this fool and it was just a weird kind of book. But um, I really like this book, The Slow Feel. Like I've always thought this was such a slow and boring book and I couldn't get through it. But going through like as a booktuber this time and like being a real appreciator, a really appreciator of books, um, I definitely enjoyed this a lot more and I really, really like the slow feeling to it. And I wish this was even longer. I really love just the slow conversations, the slow days, just everything that was in this book. I really enjoyed and the main thing was just the fun of Dollars Umbridge's like reign over the school. A lot of people like thought it was negative or whatever. I just thought it was kind of fun to read about and like just seeing her issue all these ridiculous decrees and giving Harry all these punishments. It was really fun and again I love the ending scene as well and there's one death in this that made me cry so hard. So yeah this book was really good. Um, definitely check it out if you haven't. Wait I mean okay next book. So after I read Order of the Phoenix, I went straight into the next one, which is The Half-Blood Prince, which is the seventh book in the Harry Potter series. Did I really just say it was the seventh? It was the sixth. And again, I'm going to try to talk about this as sick, quick as I can and in a non-spoiler way. So this book is um, Harry Potter's sixth year at Hogwarts. And basically in this year, he's investigating some evils. He has assumptions about one character and really try to investigate them and like see what they are doing because he has this odd suspicion that this character is working with Voldemort. There's also this this whole deal between Dumbledore, Snape, and Voldemort. And we are also getting a new potions teacher at Hogwarts and this book also focuses a lot on potions as Harry finds this potions book that is helping him out with his homework and it's by this um, person named the Half-Blood Prince and basically this book has just so much hidden materials all listed and it's really helping him with his homework and it's just like um, impressing the teacher and yeah basically he's just like getting all the secrets about potions. A lot of crazy stuff going on and I really liked how this book was a little bit shorter than the last book like the last book was 850 pages but this was 650 pages like I kind of liked the more quick tone to it and 650 pages for a Harry Potter book is like perfect like 650 to 700 pages is just the right amount like I feel like having it at 500 pages is like or like 300 pages is short and like the first three books are kind of like short they're like all 300 to 400 pages but I really like this perfect size for a book it's so quick it's so nice and I just love the whole kind of like tense suspicion that Harry has and that like everyone's telling him that like this character that he's investigating is you know not with Voldemort but then like we find out that yeah it's so crazy and just the last scene was so so emotional and like everything about this book was just amazing and I really loved how Harry um in this book was investigating Voldemort's past like that's kind of like a whole premise of this book is that Dumbledore and Harry are diving through Voldemort's past and secrets and um Dumbledore is basically just preparing him for his final mission in the last book which we'll hear about in just a second so yeah this book was really really good five stars again and one of my favorites so yeah let's jump into the next book all right the last book is Harry not the last book sorry the second to last book that I read this month was Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by JK Rowling which is the last book of the Harry Potter series and basically this is just like the ultimate quest the last like chance for Harry and his friends to defeat the you know looming evil in the series which is Voldemort who has been haunting him for the last like literally the, his whole life and so this is like a really emotional you know story of him like finally like doing stuff and like really like making progress on defeating Voldemort and I'm not gonna spoil anything but like just like seeing how much Harry himself grew in this last book as a person and finding out like he's you no know, his true role. I don't know what I'm saying, but this book was really good. I really liked how it wasn't like at Hogwarts. I mean, I liked it and I didn't like it. I really like the Hogwarts feel, but I also like how there was like this kind of like tension of them like running away. Like they were running away from all the bad guys, you know, hiding in places, trying to like find different things. It was like this really wild goose chase. And the like last 300 pages were so, so amazing. This book did have a like bit of a slow start but as soon as we got into those last 200 pages where they're just like fighting hunting tracking down things and like that big last battle scene at Hogwarts it was really really amazing and this book is definitely probably one of my favorites of the series if I had to rank them which I think I am going to do a video of ranking the Harry Potter books but yeah um this probably was such a really really good book and probably really high on my ratings so I definitely enjoyed this book just seeing like even the epilogue like after like another like 15 years like how all the characters grew and like what their lives looked differently and just seeing that you know amazing ending and i don't know i just liked this book so much and i can't wait to read the harry potter series again soon but yeah let's get on to a book that is not harry potter and also my last book of the month okay and the final book that i'm almost done with and i have like two more days in may when i'm recording this or actually three more days in may so yeah i'm going to finish this i think but yeah the last book that i'm reading right now and that i think i'm going to finish let's just assume that i've finished it but yeah anyways um is never seen by shannon messenger which is the fourth book in the kotlc series and yes i'm finally getting back to the KOTLC series. This month I wanted to read all of Harry Potter, all of K 
KOTLC and all of Unwanted's. I, I don't know where that ambition came from, but that was way too much. So yeah, now I'm finally getting back to Harry Potter, Harry Potter KOTLC. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But yeah, um, this book is a really, really good book. And it's probably my favorite book in the universe. Like this is my favorite book in the Keeper of Lost City series. And the Keeper of Lost City is my favorite series ever. So this is like my favorite book ever. And basically what happens is in this book, the main characters are running away to this new place. I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't read it, but like these characters, the main characters are running away to this new place to go like serve a really good purpose and fight the bad guys and the evil organization and also go to a new school and like just learn a lot of fun stuff and I don't really want to say much but like this is the bomb this book is so so good I really love that aspect of just like running away from their homes to you know go fight the bad guys and do good and just like the school that they go to is really fun and just adventuring through a whole new place and like the whole new setting of their books like in the neutral territories of the elven world was so so fun I really enjoyed reading everything about it and like the new characters um learning a lot more about the gnomes and the gnome culture and like just learning a lot more about Sophie the main character herself and just it was a really transformative book and such a amazing amazing story I could rant on and on about for hours about how never seen was my favorite book in the series but um this is also nostalgia too because when I started reading the Keeper Lost City series this was the last book that was gone this is the fourth book and this was the only book like that was out like there's only um the first book the second book the third book and the fourth book out when I read this so there wasn't a book five a book six a book seven a book eight or even a book 8.5 in theory when I started reading this so this like for me was the book that I had to end on and had to like really consider and wait for the next book. I read this when I was in elementary school and I actually had friends that would read were reading the series too and so like we all like, had so much fun and like um I went to this AIG room and like we would make a movie trailer about this and stuff and it's just fun kind of like living out and acting the scenes and again um I have another channel called the KOTLC Fanbase which just hit 3,000 subscribers. Just everything I just love diving into these KOTLC books. I really loved Never Seen as my favorite one and I'm gonna stand behind it. It's always gonna be my favorite. So yeah I really love this book and I cannot wait to finish it very soon but let's get on to the outro because that's all the books i read this month sadly but i mean they're all really long <laughs> thank you guys so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed me talking about all of these books kind of like wrapping up all the books that i read and i think i'm also going to do a video next week of kind of what i plan to read in the future because i don't know i just feel like i need some sort of plan to go off of some sort of schedule because i feel like i'm falling behind and i just need to read more often like i am so busy with youtube but like i need to i need to you know kick up my game for the summer so yeah um i really enjoyed this video i hope you did too if you did make sure to leave a like that is one of the best ways you can support me honestly and it would really mean a lot to me if you like this video and make sure to comment down below your thoughts if you've read any of these books um just have a good discussion with me about harry potter kotlc magnus chase like let's have a good um discussion also um tell me what you read this month i would love to hear about that as well yeah i think this is a premiere and a lot of people don't like to leave comments after a premiere but that really does help me because depriving me of those comments like makes my videos do worse but yeah also make sure to subscribe to my channel we're almost to 1000 again and I cannot wait to start celebrating but like I have so much going on I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to celebrate okay I need to just clear my mind of all this stress but yeah basically I have a lot going on so yeah I can't wait to hit 1000 but I wouldn't mind if it slowed down for a little bit because I do have a lot of stuff going on right now and also if you want to check out one of my last videos definitely check up there it is a top five young adult characters video where I basically struggled to talk about characters my favorite young adult characters but yeah you can hear about my young adult favorite characters if you want yeah I really appreciate um you guys watching the whole way through and I will see you guys in the next video like so much happy reading love you guys to the end of the book and back and i will see you on monday hopefully thank you guys so much and i will see you then all right bye love you